Hello, I am Nitesh Pradhan from LabVIEW and Multisim. Today I will show you how can we create automatic washroom light project using Multisim. Okay, so so many students every year want to do something good using the circuit simulation software like Multisim. So for that I am designing this video, I am recording this video that will help you, that will help our Multisim student okay, and beginner and expert of on multi-sim to extend their practical knowledge so let's start today's session so today we will design automatic washroom light controller so to design this automatic washroom light controller we need to open our multi-sim in this multi-sim platform we need some list of component okay so we need this list of components so first i will copy here copy and paste Let's see. Okay, we need this list of component first. So first we will collect all these components. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven registers. So for that, press Control W. When you will click the Control W, you will get the database. In the database, there is master database. Inside the master database, there is a group. Okay, you will find this large number of group. Inside this group, there is the basic. Inside the basic, you will get this registers. So click on the registers and take only one registers. Register two, register three. First take with the same value. We can change the value later. Six and seven. Okay, now we need two capacity. A capacitor okay so we need a two capacitor with the value of 47 okay so take just a normal capacitor here one more capacitor and now we need one open operational amplifier 741 so how can we take so for that click in the all group right here 741 Seven four one. So it is our seven four one. So take this seven four one. Okay. You can take ln three two five, ln four two eight, as per your convenience. If if you want to design this uh, project in the hardware, so ln three two four is best. Now we need one IC triple uh, five, L M triple five. Okay. We need uh, we need LM triple five CM. Okay, and after that we need one lamp. We need one lamp. Now it is virtual lamp, so let's try to take one a real lamp. Control W. It's virtual lamp okay 12 volt lamp so now keep both the lamp here I see triple five and this I see seven four one both are fixed no need to change anything in this we need to change the value so for that double click here and open seven 70 kilo ohm then 10 kilo ohm then 50 kilo ohm after that 22 kilo ohm then 10 kilo ohm now again 10 kilo ohm Okay, it is 10 ohm, not 10 kilo ohm. So 10 and K. Then final one, double click and 10 kilo ohm. Okay, and for this, double click and right here, 4, 70. Okay, microfarad. And 0.0. 
so right here 0, 0.0 so now we need to complete our circuit okay so to complete our circuit we need two more things let's see now uh, the for that control we come into the all group select all group come into the source or in group source unit vcc so for that you need to come in the power source there is a vcc take a vcc and take ground take normal ground not d ground you can also take the d ground but normal ground is better and after that we need one spst single port single throw to start and stop our door so for that you need to come into the source not source you can click in the all groups and you can write here S SPST single port single throw take this SPST now uh, let's start con uh, connect uh, connections so first take R1 click here and press ctrl R to rotate take R1 here rotate this SPST okay double click sorry double right click open the property label display okay this one is our SPST R R1 take R2 control R take here make a connection between R1 and R2 then connect the SPST connect one node of the SPST with the like okay now connect the second this minus okay this negative with the this R2 now take R3 and R4 R3 and take R4 and connect your R3 R4 button okay connection with this point now take your C1 and C2 control control R C1 control R C2 okay now let's connect there is a 5 volt vcc take here no 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 need sorry double click and it will be a 12 volt okay place here make a connection like this now make a connection like this connect this with the vcc for the power supply we can connect it for the ground for the common grounding we can take one only one ground for common grounding okay to connect here we need one junction take a junction here okay after that r5 and r6 control r r5 and R6 and make a connection like this and after that connect with the trigger now make a connection with the trigger okay now trigger it is c1 connect this c1 with the common and connect with the ground we will connect that with the ground now here we need this one which we need to connect and we have r7 okay so now connect the r7 
like this sorry not like this don't do that mistake connect like this make connection but don't connect this one okay r7 so now extend this one slightly and connect your threshold and connect this now we need to connect this button with the power 12 volt connect with the 12 volt connect with the 12 volt and all we need to connect with the ground now let's see it will work or not okay so for that we will try to connect this one like this and this and now the last one which we need to connect and that is connect this SPST with this run I think everything is set no need to change anything if my gate is open so it will glow and here my gate is closed so it will off okay now open so here we are using this uh, circuit as a differential circuit okay we are using this circuit as a differential circuit this point okay from this point okay we will it's it is solved okay here this is solved why it's solved because both are the connected connected with the power it is connected with the power and it is also connected with 12 volt okay it is connected with the 12 volt and it is also connected with the 12 volts okay so when the circuit will sort the bulb the this uh, bulb will not glow when it will open the circuit okay so now it is open so in this condition it is in this condition it will create a grounded options and now the circuit will glow The switch is placed on the wall in such a way that when the door is open by pushing it's complete the okay uh, circuit normally so in this way you can design your uh, circuit and you can complete your automatic bathroom light control project okay so if you want so we can discuss about this automatic uh, washroom light project uh, in the next video and if you don't want so you can design and you can uh, learn your uh, learn the concept uh, as per your own okay so now Thank you for watching this video. We can design so many small small project uh, like this kind of project using the multi sim for our uh, mini project, for our second year projects, and for our circuit learning concepts. So thank you for watching this video.